What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's up guys, welcome back to Tano Made Otaku, and today we're talking about episode 10 of Alice to Zoroku. That's right, we're back at it again with acuteness. Without further ado, let's jump into this. The episode started off where the last episode left off. Are you be going to find Sana to get her help to help Hitori out. And she got locked up in a... Well, she was pretty much taken to a whole other world. It's a world where Sana reigns supreme, where she is the queen, and she calls her kingdom Wonderland. As he says that you are a bad person, Ayumi, and you deserve to be punished. You're going to stay in here, and you're going to think about what you've done. And Ayumi's like, okay, all right, okay, hold up. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry. Secondly, I'm here to get your help with Katori. She's... She needs a whole lot of help, and Sana's just like, but she's evil. And they were just having this little, this a, a very, very short back and forth conversation. And then you just hear Zoroku going, what is going on? So then she puts her in a bird cage and it covers the bird cage with a sheet to hide her. And she just goes and she just, Slowly just opens the door and just looks up at Zoroku and he's just like, what are you doing right now? What in the world are you doing inside of my bathroom? And she just looks up at him. And then she just slowly starts to close the door. Like there's nothing to see here. So then he yanks her out of it. And when he yanks her out of it, she teleports Ayumi to back to the crepe shop where she picked her up from. She buys a crepe, a strawberry crepe. It looked delicious. Still haven't had a crepe, but, you know, hey, whatever. And then from there, she sees a little rabbit. A little rabbit doll on top of a door. And she starts talking to the rabbit because the rabbit has Sana's voice. Sana is now controlling the rabbit. That is how she is communicating with her at this point and they have a good heart to heart about Hattori and, every, and everything and how she feels and Sana agrees to help. From there it pans back to Hattori whose life is just really sad. It really bums me out, you know. She's sitting there with her mom and her mom is being one of the sweetest mothers I've ever seen but that's just because of the Alice power. Tori is just sad, sad and broken. Like she knows, like all, like all this love that she's getting is pr is pretty much fake. So they stay in that position. After a while, she gets up. Her mother is now asleep, and then she just turns around. And it's just this big door in the living room. So from there, it's you know, curiosity killed the cat. She opens the door. She goes through the door. Opens up the door and then boom, she's in Wonderland, as Sana has so eloquently named it. From there, she sees a, the same rabbit, and she decides to follow this rabbit after some deliberation of just turning her back around and going back into the other room. After that point, it goes, it pans back to Zoroku's home, where they go and they're ready for dinner and dinner or lunch. One of the two, I think it's lunch. They look in the closet and there's a little door there and the rabbit comes out of the freaking door and hands them a little piece of paper that just says went to went to find the bad girl will be back soon. So they just stay up there waiting for her to be back soon, but it never really happens. Happens eventually Zoroku gets over worried and he goes out and he goes looking for her. during that time Hattori is exploring this brand new world and she makes her way to 
hallway and then eventually into a giant corridor where she meets Sana, but Sana's for some reason behind this like in this like little case like king thing. There Sana as a child tries to lecture Hattori by calling her a bad person and you know trying to take the guilt route is the interesting thing because Sana's never dealt with someone who's been such a sad situation as Satori to the point where she's almost broken. She's to the point where she is blaming herself for everything and she feels so terribly about it that everything is just not as bright and as cheery for her and she doesn't look through life that way. She expects Hattori to act like she would if she was getting, you know, scolded. You know, learn from it, say you're sorry, change, do all that type of, all those, all those things. And Hattori's not like that at all. You know, once, you know, Sana calls her a bad person, she just agrees. She's like, I know I'm a bad person. There's, I'm, 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 I'm a terrible person. Like, that's how she feels about herself. Hattori also knew the entire time that Sana was Sana and not who Sana was pretending to be, which was an adult, a smart girl. And she tries to leave, and Sana won't let her leave because she wants to help her, but she still, like, like in her heart, she feels like Hattori's a bad person, so she doesn't need help. She needs to be, you know, locked away somewhere, punished and all that. But from her conversation with Ayumi, Hattori is a good person who's just down a wrong path, which is true. She's she's not a bad girl. She's just in a very, 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 very bad situation. And she's dealing with it the only way she knows how, which but is not the best way to handle it. So Sana is like starts to I guess she gets so angry because her plan isn't working, which is kind of a natural reaction if you really think about it. If things don't go your way, you're going to get angry about it. It's just once you, when you're a kid, you're more outward and open with it. But when you're an adult, you just repress it and just move on and try to find a better way. Donna goes off and she's just like, she said you were such a good person. And then at that point, you know, Hattori puts two and two together. You're like, so you talked to Ayumi? That's how you knew where I live and what I was and what I've been going through. And Sana's just like, oh no, it's it's a secret. So she won't tell her, but she's not good at keeping secrets at you know, hiding secrets and stuff like that. So Hitori, getting increasingly angry at this, decides to use her Alice, and if you remember their, their Alice's cancel each other out. So once she brought it up and started using it, it canceled out Sana's Alice, which in turn made the entire world like implode. It imploded and they fell down into like a, a cavern, you could say. From there it pans to the research facility which has been taken over by Zoroku's friend and his whole agency. And things are going like crazy. And this is where where I think that Alice's Wonderland is like the actual Wonderland. That's where like the Alice power like relies. So whenever Sana loses control it it distorts it and it kind of like goes haywire for like everybody but in this case the wonderland actually expanded and then all of a sudden everybody was had their own little alice for like a little while i don't know if it's like a permanent thing or what but i know a lot of people now are seeing the little alice symbol with them so as the roku comes back from being out and looking and he gets a call from Ichijo asking, hey, is Sana okay? And Zoroku's like, I don't know where she's at. 
So then Ichijo tells him, I think I know where she is. I think she's actually trapped inside of Wonderland, and I think she has somebody with her. And I'm about to go and go in and try to find them. And Zoroku's like, okay, I'm, I'm coming too. And Ichijo is like, hey man, it's... It's going to be really, really dangerous there. And he's like, that's all the more reason that I need to go and I need to find her. You know, when kids get lost, it's like a grown-up job to, to find them, isn't it? So he's all gung-ho for that. At the same time, for in a Yumi's world, she gets a call from her mom going, Hey, have you seen Hattori? She's, at, she's missing right now. And she's worried because, you know, her best friend is missing. And... Her dad goes home to see how she's doing. He says, hey, man, just eat, go to bed, let let, let us, the grown-ups, handle this. Which I don't think she's going to do, but, you know, hey, that's speculation for the next episode. There he goes back to Hitori and Sana. They are actually down, kind of like in like a little cavern, and it's snowing everywhere, and there's just the wreckage of the palace they were in. And Sana is now stuck in this king box sarcophagus looking thing. And she can't open the door. So Atori goes over there. She's like, do you want help with the door? And Sana's, you know, a stubborn little kid. You could say she's a brat. She's kind of, she kind of is a brat, but she's adorable. So Atori helps her open, op- opens it up. Sana stumbles out and she's, she just... It's like she wanted to say thank you because that's what Zoroku had taught her, but she never, she didn't say it. She just kind of like pouted there. So then Hattori's like, look, I've been here for a long time and my parents need me to be happy. So she was just talking to Asana like, hey, look, I'll apologize and everything, and I'll admit that you're really, really strong, but I need to go home. Can you please send me home? And that's when Sana drops the bombshell. She's like, I don't think... Because she tried to use her allies, and it didn't work, so she was saying that, I think we're actually kind of stuck here. I don't know if we can go back home. That's where the episode is. So, yeah, there's that. Once again, another good episode from this show. It really, it's really getting real. I just, I, I love the relationship that, that Sada has with Zoroku and how she's so protective of him. I love the relationships that are blossoming and I love where this is going. I don't remember if this show has 12 or 13 episodes. I think it's 13. And if it is, we got three episodes left, so... The show is almost up. That makes me sad, but all good things must come to an end. And I'm really looking forward to the next couple episodes. I want to see Sana and Hitori grow closer and have a bond as, like, you know, like everybody else. It is, it, I, I, I really need that. I really need for Hitori's life to get a lot better, too. I need that, too. But that's all I got for you guys this time. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to discuss the episode or the series in general, please don't hesitate. Put that in the comment section down below. I'll uh, I'll hit you back up as soon as I can. Uh, If you like what I do and you like the content that I put out and you're enjoying the show and my reviews and everything, don't hesitate to subscribe and join the squad. Until next week, guys, peace out.